Hey YouTube, in this video we are going to make a program in C Sharp that calculates the standard deviation for a sample. Okay, so to do that I'm going to fire up my terminal right here and I'm going to create a new .NET project. And to do that I'm going to type .NET new console dash O for output and let's call it math for math because we're going to do some math. All right, so it's going to go ahead and create that. I'm going to just uh, cd into math and then just type uh, .NET build. It's going to go ahead and just make sure everything's set up okay. There's no errors or anything with the initial program. And then we'll go ahead and we'll modify it. Okay, so that looks all good. So I'm going to fire up a text editor. I'm going to use a, a GUI version of NeoVim, which is NeoVim QT. Okay. And this afternoon, I think uh, I'm going to go with uh, a lighter mode. And reason being is uh, there's some bright light behind me, so we'll do that. And let's go and take a look at the program that they initially give us. So we have this console.write line. We are going to get rid of that, okay? So let's get rid of that to start, okay? And what we should do to start is we should have a integer array of some numbers. So uh, let's create a double. And that's going to allow like uh, decimal points. And I want to put square brackets there. And then let's call this nums. And we'll have some numbers. So it'll be like 1.2, uh, 3.4, let's say 5.1, and 6.2. Okay. And let me uh, save that and jack up the font a little bit so you can see it. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot better. You can see a lot better there. All right, so now, um, so now we've got that, and I want to basically be able to send that into some kind of function and or method in the case of C Sharp, and I want that method to, uh, to basically generate the standard deviation and give it to me back, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to start with a method. I'm going to call it static, and I'm going to return a double. Uh, we'll call it uh, standard deviation. And we're going to take in a double, which is the nums. OK? OK, and all right, so then within that, um, we're going to have a sum that we need. We're going to start that off at equal to 0, 0.0, okay? And uh, I'm gonna declare an integer i, and then I'm gonna start a loop, okay? So I'm gonna say for i equals, whoops, actually, let me do the four outside there. For i equals zero, uh, i is less than the length of the nums array, uh, and then we'll increment i. Okay, through that loop. Okay, so then in that loop, we want the sum, we want to add each term from the nums array to the sum. So I'm going to say sum uh, plus equals nums, uh, whatever the value is at the position i. Okay, so that's going to give me um, back the sum. Okay, so now to calculate standard deviation, we have to find the mean first. So um, that's going to be a double. We're going to say double mean equals sum divided by uh, the uh, number of the, the items in the array. Okay, now I could have divided this by nums.length, but I did it with i. That's why I declared i earlier. Okay. All right, and we're going to say um, we have another double, which is going to be called variance sum. Uh, that's going to be equal to 0, 0.0. Okay, and then we're going to have another for loop. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have the for loop, I'm gonna say four, and then we'll have an integer, let's call that one x equals zero. Uh, x is gonna be less than the length of the nums array, and um, we're gonna increment x up, okay? All right, and as we go, um, in that second array, we're going to have the variance sum we're going to add, and we're going to use uh, a method called math.pow, um, which is, gives me the, uh, allows me to square it basically. So I'm going to basically take the value of the, uh, in the nums array at the x position, and I'm going to just subtract the mean, and I'm going to square that value, and then I'm going to add each of those to the variance sum. Uh, now, if you know something about, um, calculating standard deviation, the uh, variance is equal to the sum of the distances from each of the data points in the mean uh, to the mean squared divided by, uh, in a sample, the number of items in the data set minus one, and then the population is just the number of uh, items in the data set. So we're going to do in a popular, in a sample rather. So we're going to subtract one. Okay. Um, so we're going to go out of the for loop now and we're going to create another double. This is going to be called just variance. Uh, and that's going to be equal to variance sum divided by the length of the nums array minus one, because we're dealing with a sample. And after that, we're going to have a uh, standard deviation. So the double, that's the standard deviation. I'm going to call it standard DV uh, is going to equal, we're going to use math.pow again, and we're going to take in the variance and we're going to take the square root. That's 0.5, the half root, or, or the, uh, not the half root, but the um, half power is the square root. Okay. So you raise something to the one half power, it's the square root of that item. All right, and then finally, we're going to return the standard deviation. Okay, I'm gonna control, uh, control S to save it, which is a shortcut I have in NeoVim set up, and then control one to build, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're good. We've got no warnings, uh, no errors, so that's good. All right, so let's run it. And you'll see when it runs, we're not going to output anything yet, okay? So I'm gonna exit out of there. We're gonna go back up here. Um, and what we wanna do is we want to, um, Console dot right line the uh, standard deviation when it takes in nums. Okay, and let's build that. Okay, so it's going to build that. And we've got no errors, so that's good. Now we're gonna run it. Okay. And you see it puts out that value 2.1792582828, uh, so on and so forth. Let me get rid of this. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Let me clear that out. Okay. Um, all right. Actually, let me exit out of this, get this out of here. Okay, let's go up here. So um, what we want to do now is we want to actually uh, take in, um, we want to take in user uh, info to create this, this array nums, okay? So I'm going to write a few lines to make this more user friendly. So the first one's going to be, Let's do console.write line. Uh, we're going to say, welcome. Uh, this program calculates the standard deviation 
of a sample. Okay, I've got the font really big here. That's why it's, it's looping around. Uh, and then next line, console.writeline. We're going to say, um, to do this, you uh, must enter the number of values in the sample and each value, something like that. Okay. And then um, we're going to write another line. So console.write line. Uh, how many values do you want to enter? Okay. And then we're going to have an integer called array length. So integer array length. That's going to be, we're going to type convert uh, to int 32. And then we'll do console.readline. That'll take in the user input. Okay. All right. And then <clears throat> we're going to have a double, we're going to declare the double nums. So I'm going to actually, let me take out this line. Okay, I'm going to say double nums equals new double. Um, and we have to tell the length, so array length. Okay, and now we're going to do a for loop, all right? And so we're going to say for, all right? Uh, int index equals zero. So we're going to call it, we're, we're going to call the variable index. Index is less than the array length. Okay. And uh, then we're going to increment the index. So index plus plus. Okay. And we're going to have, we're going to say console.write line. Um, what is the next value you want to enter? And then we're going to say nums at the index position. That's going to equal convert and then two double. And then we'll have a console. Sorry, I can't type that read line. Okay. All right, and at the end, let's make this a little bit more user-friendly as well. And let's um, add some text, like the standard deviation of the sample is, and then we'll have uh, leave a space and then a plus, and we'll append the standard deviation uh, method when it takes in the nums uh, array, okay? So we're going to save it. We're going to build it. Let's, hopefully we didn't make any errors. Wait a moment. Um, zero errors. That's always nice. And let's run it. Okay, so you see the program, it says, welcome, this program calculates the standard deviation of a sample. To do this, you must enter the number of values in the sample in each value. How many values do you want to enter? Let's say, let's just go with three to start. Okay, what's the next value you want to enter? Let's do 1.2. What's the value after that? Let's do 2.3. And let's do, say, 4.1. Okay, and the standard deviation of the sample is 1.46, so on and so forth. Okay, let's just check that out. Uh, and let's type in standard deviation calculator into Google. We'll go here to this site. Let me increase the size of that so you can see it nice. Okay, so we want a standard deviation. We're gonna click of a sample and we wanna enter in our three values. And uh, so we've got 1.2, 2.3 and 4.1. Okay, let's go ahead and calculate. And we get 1.46, 40, 127, so on and so forth. 
3998. Ours goes out a little bit further than theirs, but uh, you get the point. So the program is working. It's taking in the user input and calculating the standard deviation of the sample correctly. Uh, I hope this uh, video gave you some inspiration for some .NET projects of your own or some other programming projects involving math. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for the notifications as it really helps the channel grow and continues to motivate me to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.